Hi, welcome to a preview of the new exhibition at the Duke's Theatre in Lancaster, Urban Stories by myself, Simon Nixon, and I'll give you a tour of the galleries. Okay, this is a painting that's a composite of various different images that were taken around Caton. I did this actually during the last lockdown where I was introducing fantastical elements um, and changing the images quite a lot. This one's got an alligator in it. Light at the end of the tunnel in this one, which is the underpass just under Skirton Bridge in Lancaster. Again, a lot of interest always in perspective and lighting effects. Again, the introduction of a fantastical creature, in this instance, a monkey in Morecambe on one of the shelters on the prom. Fortin services in the M6 with elephants wandering down the motorway. And this is the M6 motorway bridge running over the cycle path to Caton with a migration of elephants as well. This is a painting of a former gunpowder works uh, just outside of Kendall. Um, I like the juxtaposition of sort of old architecture and buildings fallen into uh, disrepair in a natural landscape and graffiti on stone which I always really like. This is a series of small paintings, um, a tube station in London an old diving platform, a stairway outside of Preston Market, the cycle path between Caton and Lancaster with a gorilla, a train station stairway to go over the platforms, and an underpass. This is an image of a slide in, I think it was Carnforth. Um, it's got a nice feel of childhood and play and also other things that interest me in terms of the architectural features, the yellow railings at the top and the shadows they create and just the fact that you've got this man-made metal object in nature surrounded by trees which I thought I think gives a nice juxtaposition. This is a painting of Carlisle Bridge in Lancaster, the stairs leading up to the train bridge that runs over the Loon River in Lancaster. I first did this painting in about 2000 and this actually painting was a revisit of the same scene about 10 years later. Sometimes it's nice to revisit scenes, see how they've changed. There's a lot more rust on this bridge 10 years after and there's a couple of changes and stuff. Um, it's got a use of quite a lot of perspective and actually putting into this work it's actually train line perspective is what it's called so that's diverging lines and stuff creates lots of space on a flat surface okay moving on this is a painting of Stamford Brook tube station in London again it's got a lot of perspective um, it's quite a nice painting to do because it's got lots of light in it bouncing off some kind of art deco tiles on the side um, which always creates kind of quite an interesting effects. Fortin Services, again on the M6 just outside of Lancaster. Um, a very iconic local landmark, certainly at, when I leave Lancaster on the motorway, you know you're kind of leaving this area. And when you come back, when you see Fortin coming, you know you're nearly home. This is painting is actually called The Leaf, which is a rather bemusing title at first glance but if you look closer on the bottom of the painting there is actually a leaf on the hard shoulder of the motorway so it's just a very playful title for a quite austere image so coming round another painting of Carlisle Bridge this is from the bottom um, this painting has been changed and altered actually because it's, which I do sometimes it's got graffiti in that actually isn't in the actual bridge at all so I've just added it on and it just changes the mood and effect of the image 
two smaller images. Again, Fortune Services, and we've got at the bottom the Southbank Centre in London. This is the last painting in the gallery, and it's a painting called The Two of Us. Um, again, it's got some things that are interesting and make interesting pictures, frames within frames. So it's got a, quite a nice uh, window with a view of the sky through it. It's got a sky trail from a plane, which brings in a different dimension. And the title, The Two of Us, again, it's about these two guys, the two pigeons. So thanks for watching.